another beautiful day out here. I'm gonna run, um, run a couple of errands. Um, oh, what's to talk about today? You know, I'm gonna start doing more of these vlogs because I feel like I have kind of um, not been consistent at doing it, and I need to to um, to make this page successful. Um, so I'm gonna try to at least do one every other day and just talk about different things. So you know, y'all bear with me. Um, The craziest thing is like I was talking to some friends yesterday uh, for bike night, and we were talking about um, we were just talking about different things. And you know, one thing that I've noticed—I don't know if it's ever happened to you—but have you ever like been riding and uh, someone who smokes cigarettes or or whatever they smoke, they end up throwing their butts out of the window? And hitting you by accident like has it ever happened to you because it's happened to me a few times but you know I just try to overlook those things it does piss me off because a lot of times I like to ride my visor up and up you know get wind in my face and I could imagine if you're on a highway and someone throws their butt out and it just lands inside your helmet like are they and some, say something happens and you do catch them are they uh, do they are they responsible for the accident? I mean, most likely the person's not going to stop because they probably won't even know about it. But if you did find out or you did find the person, what, what would you do about it? Me personally, if I knew who it is, I'm coming to the house. And I'm going to uh, make sure that they'll stop smoking forever. Because I'd be pissed if something happens to me over a stupid cigarette butt. I mean, I do, I do enough stupid things on this bike. I don't need help. I really don't need help at all. But, um, yeah, hopefully that never happens and I never wish that upon anybody. Um, but, yeah. So, anyway, so I just thought I'd just ask that kind of question. Um, another thing I want to talk about, too, is now that summer is officially here, here in Georgia, you know, I see a lot of people out there riding bikes and things. And, you know, so far there's been a few accidents, a couple of fatalities. And, you know, the thing about that is, is that you have to watch yourself out here in these streets, guys. I mean, it is crazy. You got to be a defensive driver. And, like, last night I was riding with some guys I used to ride with years ago. And let me tell you this. When I was riding, when I first, you know, moved down here and riding with these guys, I was I could like keep up with them and ride hard as them and do all the stuff as good as they did. But now that like after a few years of riding, I you know, I haven't rode with them in a few years at this particular uh, bike night and I went last night and they left me. I mean they left me. I, I mean it was just crazy. And maybe it's because I changed my riding style now that I moved out from the city and kind of out in the country a little bit where, you know, I got a lot of back roads and a lot of twists and turns that I, you know, ride now that I don't feel like dodging cars. You know, I just wonder if, you know, being out here, it, it has changed my riding style. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It has changed my riding style a lot. And I've just now been more of a, like, a chill back rider. Uh, you know, just riding because just to have, just to ride, get some wind in my face. Nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. But I'm telling you, I felt uh, so ashamed about riding. But you know what? I'm going to ride my ride. And I end up, eventually end up meeting them uh, on the highway. And then um, they went somewhere else after a while I decided not to go because I just didn't feel comfortable riding as fast as they did but you know I, I, I still respect them and their riding style it's just I don't think that I can keep up with them and I feel like I'm just would be annoying to them because I you know I'm more of a sit back chill kind of rider you know I don't know it's just crazy guys you know but um 
yeah, it was just crazy. But you know, the thing is, uh, I had a good time. I met some other people, went to this parking deck, sat around, talked. And it was just really, it was really nice and cool. And on the way back home, rode a little bit. Um, to the way back home, it was just real nice, easy ride. Nothing too crazy. And you know, that's the type of ride I'm gonna like doing. And you know, it. You have to be careful because the thing is is you have to be careful on what type of people you ride with um generally when i ride with somebody i don't know i tend to stay back a far ways just to see what their style is if they know how to you know ride correctly and ethically wise you know by attic wise like when you're riding in stagger formation you know one person to the left one person to the right you know uh if they if they like to do wheelies or or studs stuff like that you know i make sure that they're way ahead of me and let them do what they want to do and you know because i don't I, one of my biggest fears is not is riding normally like this and having people riding with me or so who's behind me or something like that and they do a wheelie and then like they lose control and smash in the back of me and i don't even see it coming like I, I feel like that's so irresponsible of the person who caused the accident that they need to like, if they're going to do that stuff, then do it on the side, like, you know, off over there somewhere or, or way, way, way down there, not like right behind me, so I can't see it coming, you know, it's just, it's just crazy, y'all, you know, I just don't understand why people do it or how people do it, but you know what, I, I, I give all mad respects to people who do those kind of things, but just, you know, do it safely and do it not around me, you know, now, if I know you, and, you know, and I know your skills, and I know how good you are at it, even though anything could happen, I still, you know, you know, I, I still just try to chill, you know, and, uh, yeah, I just still try to chill, but watch them, but knowing that they know what they're doing, I don't, uh, I really don't trip about them, because like I said, I know them, I know the riding style, I rode with them for a couple of years and things like that, so I'm just used to it, but, um, yeah, so that's that's one of the things I wanted to kind of touch on today. Oh, it is a nice, pretty day today, guys. Yeah, I was kind of squinting it because I just didn't feel like putting on pants and jacket and stuff. And I'm just going to stay in my area, so I'm not going to be, like, getting out there and, you know, driving all crazy and stuff like that. I'm just going to chill. I'm gonna run a couple of errands and stuff, so I'm not really gonna be doing a lot. Oh man! Oh, Ooh, it's a hot one today, guys. Man, yeah, and then like people, like also last night, you know, there's a couple of guys who went on a race. Uh, they came back safe and everything, but one of the guys came back. And um, his front tire was going flat, like really going flat. And he thought that, you know what, he could just try to ride to the gas station, put air in it. But like you have a, like almost a $15,000, $20,000 bike. I wouldn't even chance it. I would just get another, I would just get another thing. Anyway, so, you know, that's the thing about me is, you know, um, I also like to, you know, get out there and just have some fun with people and stuff. But you know, racing is not my really big thing. Like, I mean, I, it's a hard one because I know my bike can handle it. I know my bike has the speed to keep up with people. I just don't choose sometimes. Like, the fastest I think I've ever gone on this bike is like 180. And that was scary. <laughs> I've always wanted to try to push it to 200, but for me to do that, I'd have to, you know, get a couple things, and I don't think I really need to test that theory, you know. I don't think doing 200 is really, like, my lifetime goal or whatever. It would be kind of cool to do it, but uh, it's not worth my life or worth anything that could happen. Ooh.
Why? 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 Why not? Why? Why not? Why? Why not? I see you on Facebook too. <laughs> no, he. <didn't. laughs> you know what? That that was at Atlantic Buffet one Sunday. My mom and one of the other mothers of my church. We went there, and the young lady she was sitting beside. She said, "My friend just went to go get something else, but he would love it if you would take a picture of him because he just loved tall women." Uh huh. Now this is her man, and she wants me to take a picture she, and do something funny. So that's why I did that. Oh. Uh Okay, okay. Yeah, he's a, he's a friend on Facebook. I was looking at his pictures like, ah. Uh, <laughs> Look here. Unless you're trying to attack, attract attention. I